what's going on guys life here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you the easiest way to breed and get mutations in arc for a beginner so let's get right into the video first thing we want to do is we want to try to collect some oil the way to do that is by killing certain enemies that drop oil kind of like trilobites or we can destroy these oil pockets under the ocean in some parts of the map well in all parts of the map or we can destroy the oil pockets that's in the snow biome on the edge by the water after collecting your oil you now want to try to grab some hide you can get hide from any creature that you kill and harvest kind of like this see I got 109 hide which and all this raw meat but that's irrelevant but <clears throat> you need the hide in order to make gasoline which is gonna be needed to power the machines that we're gonna be using today what you wanna do after getting your hide and your oil you're gonna wanna go into your forge you're gonna wanna put your hide and your oil with a fuel source and turn it on over time the oil and the hide will fuse together and make gasoline before getting to the gasoline first what we want to do is we want to make a smithy to make a smithy those are the crafting requirements <clears throat> and material that you actually need to make the smithy so you would need 50 stone 30 wood, 5 iron ingots, and 20 hide. To get metal, what we need to do is we need to go to the rocks kind of that kind of look like boulders that are closest to the water or go to the yellow rocks that were previously shown in the video. We need to go to these and break them until we get the material called iron in this version of the game that I'm playing or metal which is the base game material. Once you have gotten the metal what you want to do is go to your forge take that out go to your forge and put the iron or metal inside the forge and over time once again it'll make iron what needs to be made next is called a martyr and pestle this can be made in your own inventory once you place the martyr and pestle down what you're gonna need to make is a spark powder and cementing paste to make a fabricator these are the crafting requirements After making a fabricator, <coughs> you want to go into the fabricator and make an electrical generator and a few electrical outlets, a few electrical cable, straight electrical cable, a few vertical electrical cable, a few inclined electrical cable and a few electrical cable intersection to make all of these things you will need electronics the way to get electronics is by going into the fabricator going to components and then you make it with one iron ingot and three silica pearls. After making your generator and electrical equipment, what you're gonna wanna do is make a few air conditioners. I'd say, depending on the creature, you might not need too many, but a good number to have is maybe 20, 25 air conditioners which is a good number because the bigger creatures need a lot more 
to make them hatch. The way to get obsidian is by going into the volcano and mining these black material looking rock and whenever you mine them you're gonna get obsidian. Now that we've gone over the machines that we're gonna need and the materials that are needed to make the machines we're gonna be going over the pins that we're gonna be breeding the dinosaurs in. The mating chambers that I would normally build for a beginner at mating creatures on Ark and getting mutations I would build certain size cages for different sizes creatures kinda like in the way that I'm doing here for the smaller creatures the easiest thing to do would be a one by one too high with a regular door this can house dodos compies and so on like creatures that are really small For the smaller medium type creatures, you build a 2x2 two two that is 4 high with a dinosaur gate and this can fit, this can hold This can hold Ankleos, Sabretooth, and things like that. Larger medium creatures go in a 4x4. Four four. And this can hold Therizinos and things like that. Now for the large animal cage, or creature cage, you're going to want it to be 8, 8 by 8. The reason for the smaller cages for smaller creatures is mainly because if the creatures get too far away from each other, they will stop mating. This is why smaller creatures go into smaller pens because it, it's less likely for the creatures to wander away from each other. These cages are also the same when dealing with underwater creatures but with a different variation. Also, some creatures that you breed might need water. Even though they're on land, they might need water to actually breed kind of like the frogs in this game they have to be in water to breed they can't be out of water they have to be in water to actually breed or it's not gonna let you for your egg hatching room you're gonna want to build it four by four by your egg hatching area what you want to do is place your generator that you made earlier down somewhere and then what you want to do is go around the area that you made your building and place down the air conditioners around the building kind of like I do right here where it's connected to the building but it's not actually sticking into the building this will prevent any dinosaurs from getting on top of it and somehow escaping the way to place your air conditioners are always basing it off the south as you can see I'm facing south at the moment and the reason for this is because it's easier 
for me to know which way the air conditioners go. So the air conditioners, the way that the air comes out of, is from this side. So it's coming through the wall. It would be on this side. If you place it south, it will always be facing east. If you place it east, it will always be facing north. If you place it north, it will always be facing west. And if you place it west, it would always be facing south. So west, north, east, south. What you want to do after placing your air conditioners and your generator, you want to connect the cables that you made previously. By connecting the electric cables, it will give you a way to make power travel to your machines. Putting a straight cable connected to an inclined, also connected to an intersection like this, gives you an option to go in three directions at once which will be very helpful whenever you're going around corners kind of like this intersection straight 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 intersection keep going straight intersection and keep going straight in an intersection and it's the exact same on the other side on the end of the intersections like the very end what you want to do is you want to place the junction box on the end of it this is what sets up the power to the air conditioners and machines this basically reaches all the machines that are nearby in that area So on each intersection you want to place one of those on the very end of it. Not right here, not right there, but on the closest one to the building. You might need to connect a few junction boxes because the junction boxes have a limited range of how far it can actually connect to the air conditioners or machines so you might have to connect a few of them because it might one one junction box might be too far to connect to the one that the one next to it is so it might be just a little too far that's why it's always better to have a few junction boxes connected than just have one and the rest not powered the way to get them to breed is by making sure they're both different genders. So one should be one should be male and one should be female. Which is just common sense, but some people don't have common sense. But the way to get them to start breeding is by going into their onto here, which by holding triangle you should be able to get there. Or if you're an Xbox, by holding Y, going down to behavior, and then going to disable wandering, or as it would say to you, enable wandering. This will get the creatures to wander and walk around without you making them follow you. This will start them to mate. Whenever you know that they're able to mate, they will have these hearts above their name 
telling you that there is a mate close to them. They will go through mating first, then they will go through gestation. After gestation is finished, depending on what type of creature you have, they might lay an egg or they might have live birth, depending on what type of creature you have. If, if it lays an egg, if the egg is, f is a fertile egg, it'll glow red kind of like this. If it glows red like this, this means that it will turn into a baby once put into the right temperature and stuff like that. If the egg looks like this with no red glare around it, this egg will no this egg will not go and grow into a baby. I'm gonna try to get a few of these mutations on camera so you don't think that I'm doing anything with like commands or anything so I'm gonna get a few of the I'm gonna try to get a few of these on camera so I can get any on camera of course now that I'm recording my shit mutation for you that is yellow that's a yellow mutation you saw it here I didn't do anything with commands that's you're not a mutation you can die you saw it that was not me who did that that is a natural mutation perfect just to prove that it is a mutation, because yellow is not a natural color on T-Rexes. There we go. There's a mutation. One out of twenty. Under maternal. Color mutations don't only go on one region of the body. Most creatures, well I'm not gonna say most creatures, but what well, is most creatures but most creatures have six different color regions not all creatures have six different color regions some only have like two three most creatures have six different color regions the color regions of this the color regions of the t-rex would be so the body which is what we have now the stomach the spots that he has right here and the I believe the stuff like the the gray part of his back is connected to the spots but you know and the brown part on his back so that's not six but that's just what's on this dinosaur what's on the t-rex i'm not sure if there's more but i'm not really sure so you know when getting these mutations you can also mute you can also breed the mutated creatures so you can breed this yellow one with this purple one and you could get a yellow and purple t-rex since they are different color regions because the the stomach is purple on this one but the body on this one isn't yellow. The body on this one is yellow, 
but the stomach on this one is not purple. So you can get two mutations on the same dinosaur by breeding the two mutated ones together. But anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Tell me anything that you want to know, how to do, or make, or anything that you have any questions about. Just tell me, let me know, and I'll get to up to date with you. But anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe.